Hello, I am Ted the Red Blood Cell, and I will be the guide for the nature of Carolina. Here we have beautiful massive green oak trees, and beautiful dandelions, young and old, and open fields that stretch miles, and the nature of singing birds. And there are so many beautiful different kind of things of science, wonders of nature. And there are some astonishing facts about the sounds of animals. Kids would probably like this. The cow says roar. The spider says moo. The cat says... The cat says roof. And the dog says cockle doodle doo. True fact, by the way. Yeah, and they also have houses. Unique kinds sometimes look the same. This nature you could see by yourself. But there's some tiny things. No offense for microbes. Tiny things. Well, much bigger than us microbes. Like ants and different kinds of creatures that might be living and might be that we don't even know about yet. I'm trying to take a look for myself. Barely anything I can see. But that's why we're called giant microbes. About the size of somebody's hand. And if you're having trouble identifying trees, you could tell if you have a good uh, identification book or already know it and see it by their leaves any shape and size you could see by the trees I don't know all or much but here's all the trees I know about birch trees oak trees dogwood trees spruce trees um uh etc etc yes and there's also so many different kinds of flowers those white things that you blow sometimes they're dandelions that you might already know but this is just a story that hasn't been told in the past. Well, I can say it. Well, I can say it. Dandelions start like this in spring times like March or April or whatever time, wherever you live. Then in their kind of teenage or kid years, they're like this, which is gets their name. And the white kinds that you blow off are called dandelions. And those tiny white things there, they grow more dandelions when they land on the soil. There's also a lots of different kind of birds that you can study about. Sometimes you can just see it barely with your binoculars, or you can just tell it by their sounds. But just to tell you again, the cow really does say hiss. Wait, I forget. So, if you go out on nature tr trips, like in, like in parks where you can like walk and stuff, you can go find a lot of the nature stuff that I taught you about. Look up Ted's Nature Show. Goodbye.